What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to the Reflection Show in the Mirror. This is Ramsey Rizard, and I'm excited to have this. I call him Mr. Wisdom, Greg Allen Williams. I'm, I'm ready to come out in the wrestling ring. Right. Where's my He's opponent? Right. He's right. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness. Greg, how you doing? I'm good. It's good to have you here on the show. It's good to be here. I'm so thankful. And for you to be a part of this movie, what does it mean to you? Well, you know, first of all, you know, I'm, I'm working with this wonderful writer, yeah. you know, Ty Mans, and a veteran. You know what I mean? Yeah. African American uh, yeah. military officer. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I it all. Yes. <laughs> so for this lowly Marine yeah. Corps Lance Corporal, you know what I mean? I'm honored. This is my second film. Mm. Uh, you know, with Ty first being, of course, uh, a question of faith. Right. The TC Stallings. You got Keisha Knight Pulliam, who I, I don't want her to grow up. Yeah. <laughs> he don't want her to you grow know up. You don't want her to Because you've been in the industry for a long time. Been a long time. Been in the wow. industry for a long time, you know. Uh, and Robert Richard, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, there's some wonderful actors out of Atlanta uh, as well. And I'm yeah. Atlanta based. Wow. So you, know you live I mean? in Atlanta? Been living in Atlanta for 20 years. 20 years? 20 years. And you didn't think about moving anywhere else? Mm -mm. I, I came from LA. You know, I did Baywatch for seven seasons. And then I came actually to Georgia on sabbatical to yeah. work at a Head Start program in Macon mm. for a couple of years. You know, do some reality-based work. I mean, what we mm. do at the end of the day is make believe. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then when I got back in the mix, you know, I just commuted yeah. in and out of LA and New York to go to work. Yeah. And then the magic happened in Georgia and yeah. all of this work started happening. So I was working a lot more. And then now, now where were you when it came to Remember the Titan? Because that, that movie right there, I'm telling you, that movie to this day, Friday night, Netflix, yeah. I can watch that movie yeah. over and over and over again. Yeah, that, that's a magic movie for a lot of people. And I got to tell you, see, that's part of what got me back in the mix. I've been on the mix for a couple of years. Wow. And then uh, an agent in yeah. Atlanta had heard I was in town. I had no representation in Georgia. She said, well, listen, None. you know, they're doing this movie. Would you audition? Yeah, yeah. you know, because I, I was ready to get back in the mix and I auditioned and uh, booked that. You know, and uh, then shortly after, booked, uh, I think it was the second episode of the second season of The Sopranos. Yeah. And so that's sort of, the DJ <laughs> Rogers say, love brought me back. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the grace of the, grace of the God of my understanding, you know, right. got me back in the mix. And that's beautiful. So dealing with all these successful movies, um, um, I would say soap operas and all that stuff, what is it like to be in this movie today? What is that? What does that moment feels like for you? Well, you know, for me, you know, faith-based films are always. What is it? Only, you know, only what you do for Christ will last. There's a certain truth to that. Right. Some of my best moments, uh, some of my best work. You know, I've been given the opportunity to do that work, and mm -hmm. I know yeah. that. I've been given the opportunity to do that work in faith-based films. Right. Uh, and then, of course, this film is about veterans, about PTSD. Right. You know what I mean? So, right. it's important. And any time I'm invited to do important work, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Because like when, when they say, you know, the purposeful. Own, 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 own purposeful work, purpose, yes. exactly, We're work that serves. Right. You know what I mean? That serves beyond simply entertaining. Mm. And you're playing this very interesting character in the movie as Pops. They refer right. to you. When they say that, and, 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 and you're saying your lines in that moment, take me to where you are. You know, I'm I'm talking to my sons. <laughs> He's been in the industry in a long time. He's yeah. been doing this for a while. Right, and, and so in this role as Pops, I, I, it's, it's interesting because, you know, working, for example, we did a scene with Bashar today, right. and I'm thinking, that's my son, son. Dylan. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't know about, yo, what's so up, it, what's it up made, Pops? So it made it easy for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and working with TC, you know what right, I mean? So right. it's sort of like I'm interacting with them the way, you know, I interact have, and have interacted so often with, with my own sons. See guys, this is what makes Gregory Allen Williams so powerful in the industry. Not only can he relate, but he also brings the experience that I've experienced from the back behind the scenes. It's so powerful. How you, your facial expression, your body posture, but I can tell that you are in that moment. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we owe everything to the moment. I, and I think for on-camera actors, it's really important to understand that for us, there is no audience. You meet those folks 
at the grocery store. You right. know, you meet those folks uh, uh, at the Red Lobster. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> after. <laughs> okay. <laughs> after. You know where I live. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, after the movie comes out. Right. Okay. So when we're working on camera, yeah. uh, uh, the moment only consists of the geography of the scene, where the scene is set, and the other actors in the scene. Yeah. You know, in the theater, the audience is part and parcel of our work. You know, we yeah. see them, we hear them cry, yeah. we hear them laugh, all of that. Wow. You know what I mean? So inevitably, they're, they're part of our moment. And sometimes we even gauge the effectiveness of our portrayal, of our performance, right. based on how they're reacting. Well, for on-camera actors, there is no such thing. Nobody's gonna laugh, nobody's gonna cry, nobody's gonna do any of that. Because right. the people who are around us are our peers. Wow. You know what I mean? They're help. They're yeah. part of. We're all part of making this thing together. So it's so you know when I'm working, I'm not thinking about accolades. I'm not thinking about applause. In fact, I'm not performing. Yes. I'm portraying. Performance mm. demands a quick I'm not call. performing. I'm portraying. I'm, wait, for some yeah. of you guys that are actor actresses, listen to what he is saying. I'm not performing. I'm portraying. Portraying because you, when I perform, right. I, the expectation. There's a quid pro quo. I'm expecting applause, some sort of affirmation, right. something. Portrayal, in, and it's also performance can be very self-serving. Mm -hmm. Let me do this in a way that will get me wow. uh, something. Yeah. But portrayal implies honesty, candor, truth, etc. So right. for me, whatever character I'm playing, whether it's a, a, you know whether it's a fictional character right. or, or, or a fact-based character, uh, it's an homage. Mm. And so that's my approach. So I'm not thinking about anything outside of right. that moment. And to be in the industry for so long, at a high caliber you are, how do you balance your success and your reality? Well, you know, I'm a real person. I'm a real person. Yeah. I, I like that. You know, I got real kids. <laughs> yeah. K -E -G -E. I got real kids. You know what I mean? With real issues. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, I found I was doing a picture in Cleveland. I found a T-shirt that said, uh, it said, it said, it said something about, you know, I am no longer, uh, you know, compelled to... Yeah, no, I'm canceling my subscription yeah. to your issues. Wow. You, you know what I mean? But you know what I'm saying? And I'm a real person. I live in a real neighborhood with real people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And what I do at the end of the day is, is make believe. Make believe. So ultimately, I mean, I certainly appreciate, you know, people, you know, uh, believing the work that I do, et cetera, et cetera. Right. But at the end of the day, it's not who I pretend to be. It's who I am. These so flies. I, we know, got, so, we're out here. These you know, so I, I got to you know, do the best I can. Right. You know, to be the person I need to be in the real world. And that's what I that's what I truly admire about your presence here. I can sense and see the transparency. I've been behind the scenes, you walk around, you talk to people, you love on people. And it makes yeah. your character part of this movie so awesome. Why is it important for people to go see this movie that you're playing in? You know what you're part of. Because it's about real people. It's about real circumstances. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about men and women who we ask to go and risk their lives yeah. for our liberty. Mm. And sometimes they come home and they're wounded. Right. You know what I mean? Certainly physically, but also psychologically. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, and also because it's, it's written by, you know, a, 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 a awesome man brother. of African descent. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So let's go out and support. It has you know, power. It has power. I mean, brother. everybody supported Wakanda, right? Black Panther. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, the entire world. Yes. Supported Black Panther, yes. and this you know, movie so, here. And, and this movie, my brother's keeper. Yeah. My brother's keeper. And we understand what that's based on. Am I? I am indeed. Yes, my brother. My keeper. brother's keeper. I am indeed my brother keeper, guys. Gregory Allen Williams here on the Reflection Show with Ramsey Rosard. Stay tuned because we have more coming your way. And remember, your experience matters.